Fans inside the GB Hodge Center witness the Upstate Spartans, both the men's and women's teams, closing out 2016 in style. Tom, a happy day here inside the GB Hodge Center. Both teams picking up a win, both teams pulling away at the end to do so. Well, the men got off to that great start, had those 12 three-pointers, struggled somewhat in the second half. Allen got back in it, but anytime you get three players with 20-plus, you're in pretty good shape. Women's side, it was a struggle for much of the first half, and then late in the third quarter, the uh, the women able to get uh, a couple of outstanding plays, widened it out to 16, came back, closed it down a little bit, Maryland Eastern Shore, but able to win the ball game. Both teams with the momentum they want with only one more tune-up prior to conference play. Here's a look back at the men's game. You're going to see a lot of Michael Buchanan. He had 21. But how about the combo of Cuthbertson and Tompkins, both leading the way scoring-wise with 22 apiece. Well, any time you can shoot the ball from range like those two young men, then you got Buchanan inside, and then you can go to the rim and score as well. They had a lot of things working today. Buchanan really wasn't required to be a factor in this game until the second half. It was when Upstate went on an extended scoring drought that he was the player inside who came to life to nail things down. Well, that's how happy they were here in Spartanburg after the first game, and the second would provide more of the same. Here's a look at the highlights from the women's contest. Well, this was major league right there. The three-pointer by uh, Jefferson. One of them came late. And then uh, also uh, the, one of the major storylines, obviously, Mara Thorpe, she had 27. 14 times we saw the lead change. Six times we were tied, including late third period before that three you talked about from Jefferson. Five-point swing at the end of the third really allowed Upstate to take the lead. In the fourth, they took control. Did so by driving the lane. You talked about Thorpe's day. Absolutely phenomenal in this contest. But a number of players getting involved in what would end up being a 76-63 win. There you see the totals from this contest today. Well, the bottom line, as far as the men and women are concerned, they got wins today. You want to finish it off before you get into uh, conference play. A-Sun beginning on January 7th, and uh, NJIT comes in. So you'll take those. It was a struggle in, the, in the, the women's side for much of the ball game, but they did some positive things down the stretch. And they were the aggressor. They continued to attack the basket and got it done. Well, they closed out 2016 together here in the Hodge Center. They will open conference play together a week from Saturday. It'll be NJIT against the Spartan men at 2 p.m. Women's game will follow. And there it is, Tom Van Hoy, Atlantic Sun Conference play. Hey, Sun play just around the corner. That does it for us. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year, everybody. And we'll see you on the 7th day of January.